गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू श्री गुरु ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इन द लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द प्रेशर स्ट्रेस एंड कंपैरिजन विद द फॉर्मूलाज एंड टर्म्स एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यूमरिकल्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉलिड्स दैट इज लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स first numerical okay before going to explain the numericals we should know about the uh, formulas which are going to solve the numericals on the basis of concept the first one is eng's modulus we know that already in the moduli there are three types in that first one is eng's modulus today i am going to discuss the numericals on the basis of eng's modulus already we all know that eng's modulus is equal to fl by a into delta l we know that already longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain and we can also write eng's modulus in the form of mass and acceleration due to gravity instead of f we can write am into z into l by a into delta l you can use directly by this formula or you can use this formula according to given values or we can also use the formula eng's modulus y is equal to ma also instead of g we can use the acceleration due to gravity a that is l divided by a a means area that is pi r square into delta l r is the radius instead of radius if they mention means just to take in the form of pi r square you can use this formula or this formula here f is the force acting on a particular uh, length of a particular rod or wire any material or any substance here the force applied a is the area l is the length delta l is the change in the length here m is the mass and g is acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity and here pi r square is our area area is equal to pi r square all these things you know already in a high school uh, on the basis of this formula i am going to solve the numericals first numericals let us consider the two materials or two substance first one is steel and second one is copper a steel wire of length a steel wire of length steel wire of length 4.7 cm and cross sectional area cross sectional area cross sectional area how much cross sectional area 3 into 10 to the power of 5 3 into 10 to the power of 5 meter square we know that the area unit is meter square stretches by the stretches by the same amount same amount stretches by the same amount as a copper wire as a copper wire copper wire of length of length 3.5 cm copper wire of length 3.5 
सॉरी हियर दिस इज ऑल्सो सेंटीमीटर दिस इज ऑल्सो सेंटीमीटर आई एम गोइंग टू कन्फर्म यू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर देन एंड क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया 4.0 पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दि पवर फाइव मीटर स्क्वायर इंटू टेन टू दि पवर ऑफ फाइव मीटर स्क्वायर दिस इज माइनस एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो माइनस टेन टू दि पवर ऑफ माइनस फाइव मीटर स्क्वायर अंडर ए गिवन लोड अंडर ए गिवन लोड अंडर ए गिवन लोड अंडर ए गिवन लोड वॉट इज द रेशियो ऑफ वॉट इज द रेशियो ऑफ एंग्स मॉड्यूलस ऑफ स्टील वायर टू दि एंग्स मॉड्यूलस ऑफ कॉपर वायर वॉट इज द रेशियो ऑफ एंग्स मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एंग्स मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एंग्स मॉड्यूलस ऑफ स्टील वायर एंग्स मॉड्यूलस ऑफ स्टील वायर टू एंग्स मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एंग्स मॉड्यूलस ऑफ कॉपर वायर वी शुड फाइंड दी रेशियो ऑफ एंग्स मॉड्यूलस ऑफ स्टील वायर टू एंग्स मॉड्यूलस ऑफ कॉपर वायर ऑलवेज कीप इन योर माइंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज कंप्लीटली बिलोंग्स टू एंग्स मॉड्यूलस वॉट आर द गिवन थिंग्स यू शुड राइट सेपरेटली द फर्स्ट थिंग ऑलवेज कीप इन योर माइंड to a perfect solving a numericals in physics means first you know that how to write the given values in separate forms or you just to mention the given values very clearly initially there are two wires here one is steel another one is copper you make separate first one is steel second one is copper Two wires are there. What are the things are going to given? What are the given values? A steel wire of length four point seven centimeter. Length L, which is equal to four point seven centimeter. This is just to mention S. Why I mentioned S? Length of steel rod, which is four point seven centimeter. Then the cross sectional area, that is. AS, the cross-sectional area of steel is three into ten to the power minus five meter square. Meter square stretches by the same amount. This is very important. Stretches by the same amount means how much change in length in the steel wire, that much is in the copper wire also. same amount means that is maybe in the form of force or that is maybe in the form of mass here the force of steel rod which is equal to force of copper the load is same the force applied on the steel rod and also the force applied on the copper rod both are same both are same now come to the copper wire what are the things are given in a copper wire of length lc length of copper wire that is 3.5 cm and second one is area of cross section that is ac area of copper wire that is 4.0 into 10 to the power minus 5 m square and they mentioned same amount 
stretches here if the delta ls is equal to delta c we can also mention why because the force acting is same or just to keep in your mind same amount stretches delta ls is equal to delta lc you can mention here also force applied fs which is equal to fc here is also delta ls which is equal to delta lc amount of stretches is same the force is also same the same amount under a given load amount of load is also same load means in the form of mass or in the form of force then we should find the the ratio of angst modulus of steel wire to angst modulus of copper wire by using these two data we should find angst modulus of steel rod with respect to angst modulus of copper rod just you find the ratio already we know that what is angst modulus formula y is equal to fl by a into delta l y is equal to fl by a into delta l just use this formula only you can make separately or you can take both formula in the same manner okay let us can same manner only what is the angst modulus formula y is equal to fl by a into delta l for steel means ys which is equal to force is same why because the force applied on the steel rod and force applied on the copper rod are same force applied on steel rod and force applied on copper rod is also same just to mention as it is f yeah, that is that is f l l means s that is a that is also different as and delta l is same delta l is same otherwise you write here force applied on steel rod and force applied on copper rod or f just to considering as f the force applied is same just to mention as it is okay similarly for angst modulus for copper is angst modulus of copper force applied is f why because force applied on steel rod and force applied on copper rod is f only that is f length is different that is copper and area is different that is copper area and delta ls is same just mention ratio form angst modulus of steel to angst modulus of copper just to consider equation number 1 and equation number 2 just divide these two formulas f ls divided by as into delta l whole divided by f lc divided by ac into delta l delta l delta l f f these are things are going to cancel why the load is applied is same under a given same load load applied on the copper wire and steel rod is same and stretches same amount stretches same amount delta ls sorry delta ls and delta lc is also same that's why those are going to cancel now ratio is equal to ys by yc which is equal to Uh, what are the things are remains ls and this ac will come to the numerator ac divided by lc as it is and this will come to the denominator as now we know those values substitute it shall i substitute here after that you write here ys by yc which is equal to what is ls length of steel rod that is 4.7 and then ac ac means here area of cross section of copper rod 
ए सी विच इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दि फोर मैनस फाइव डिवैड बै एल सी लेंथ आफ कापर रॉड दट ईज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एंड देन वट ईज द लेंथ आफ एरिया आफ क्रॉस सेक्शन आफ स्टील दट ईज थ्री पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दि फोर आफ मैनस फाइव सेम पवर्स आर गोइंग टू कैंसल and you can also cancel by directly multiplying these values or you multiply these values or you can cancel directly it's left to you which is going to easy you can choose directly now the ratio is ys by yc which is equal to that is uh, this is around 18.8 something that is 1.8 by 1 nothing means one that is ratio in the form of angs modulus of steel rod to angs modulus of copper rod 1.8 times as copper rod steel rod ratio is 1.8 times the copper rod very important this is the first ncert numericals just keep in your mind how to solve the numericals means first you mention the given values neatly then write the formula for a particular given numericals just take that formula and what are the things we should calculate write very clearly and make ratio it and then substitute the given values and this is the ratio forms that is we can also write don't mention in the equal form just to mention like this ratio form also 1.8 is to 1 this is the angs modulus of steel to the angs modulus of copper ratio is 1.8 is to 1 just note down this is the first formula that's why i mentioned on the board the next problem onwards i am going to dictate you just note down yourself is it clear Okay, come to the second question. You can see the numericals. And practice yourself. It is going to easy for solving the numericals. second one two wires of diameter shall i write on the board okay second one two wires of diameter two wires of diameter 0.25 cm one made of steel one made of steel and and the other and the other one made of other one made of brass other one made of brass are loaded are loaded as shown in the figure as shown 
as shown in the figure as shown in the figure the unloaded length of steel unloaded length of steel unloaded length of steel wire is unloaded length of steel wire is unloaded length of steel wire is 1.5 meter and and that of and that of brass wire is brass wire is that is 1.0 meter compute compute the elongation of elongation of steel elongation of steel wire and the brass wire i the brass dimension two wires of diameter 2.5 cm one is made up of steel and other one is made up of brass wire there are two wires one is steel wire another one is brass wire and its diameter is 0.25 cm and another diameter is that is uh, both the diameters are same uh, and uh, the given under the same load the unloaded length of steel wire is 1.5 meter and the brass wire is 1 meter compute elongation elongation means change in length elongation means change in length of steel wire and change in length of brass wire delta l for steel rod and delta l for brass rod we should find that delta l listen here they mentioned the diameter you just mentioned the given values very clearly before going to solve the numericals and this is the first step you should remember a uh, given values write separately and clearly you know the given values then it is very easy to solve the numericals and just to identify the given values that is very help to solve the numericals two wires those are first one is steel why always they are mentioning the steel why because we know that already steel is more elastic than all other substances second one is brass okay what are the things are given by one is steel rod another one is brass rod the first one the steel rod diameter is same diameter of steel rod is 0.25 cm we can also write like this d is equal to 0.25 cm means 10 raised to minus 2 meter the diameter for both the wires are same just to mention here also d is equal to directly 0.25 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter this is the diameter then are loaded as shown in the figure okay they mentioned the figure also shall i draw the figure here they mentioned the figure this is the supporting end here two wires and this is the load and this is also load for okay this is the given diagram the first one is this is steel wire this one is steel wire and its mass is 4 kg here mass applied is 4 kg and here is 6 kg 
the steel rod is 4 kg as well as 6 kg how much total weight is applied on the steel rod 4 plus 6 kg and on the brass rod this is our brass rod here the two wires are attached by a load here we applied a load is 4 kg initially for steel rod again we are connecting to this load brass rod and in this load we applying a 6 kg mass 6 kg plus 4 kg how much total load is applied on the steel rod 10 kg for brass rod how much load is applied only 6 kg why because this 4 kg is applicable for steel rod not for brass rod and mass applied on the steel rod which is equal to how much that is 10 kg or you write 4 plus 6 that is 10 kg and mass applied on brass rod is only 6 kg only they mentioned are loaded as shown in the figure in this figure they mention the load that is 4 kg and 6 kg and also they mention the length of this rod also this length is equal to 1.5 meter which length steel rod length is 1.5 meter and this brass rod length is that is 1 meter the length of steel rod is ls which is equal to 1.5 meter and length of brass rod is 1 meter length and mass they mentioned on the diagrams In the given diagrams they mention the mass as well as length we know that how to convert from mass to force general formula is there already you know in the high school that is F is equal to M into G, M into G, M is our mass, G is our acceleration due to gravity, any freely falling bodies, acceleration due to gravity is going to act, okay. Then we should find, compute the elongation of steel wire and compute the elongation of brass wire, delta LS we should find and delta lb also we should find separately we should find the delta ls and delta lb first i am going to solve the delta ls for steel rod first n's modulus value is that is 200 into 10 to the power of 9 newton per meter square and one more Young's modulus for brass is that is 90 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square. These are the given values. If suppose the not mentioned means you just remember these values very clearly or you just you buy at those values and it will help us to calculate the Young's modulus for a particular values. Now first find the Young's modulus for steel uh, it is not possible to find the Young's modulus without delta L and the Young's modulus listen here this is the diameter they mentioned that is 0 0.25 centimeter for both steel as well as brass rod and we should convert that centimeter in terms of powers and mass they mentioned uh, the steel rod uh, uh, loaded a mass 4 kg and brass rod 6 kg but the steel rods total uh, mass acting on the steel rod is 4 plus 6 and in this particular brass rod the acting load is 6 kg which we have to remember that's why the mass of steel rod is 
10 kg why because this 4 kg is also acting on the steel rod and this 6 kg is also acting on the steel rods the total mass acting on the steel rod is 10 kg and brass rod is 6 kg and we mentioned these things and this is the Young's modulus value for steel rod and this is the Young's modulus values for brass rod you should remember these values now we should find the elongation elongation means delta l separately you should find a uh, elongation elongation of steel rod elongation of steel rod and elongation of elongation of brass rod first you find the steel rod then you have to calculate the brass rod elongation elongation means change in length that is delta ls now what is the general formula for Young's modulus Young's modulus is equal to fl by a into delta l we should find this delta l here what are the things they mentioned length they mentioned that's why I'm taking length of steel rod and the load is also they mentioned in the form of mass I'm going to convert this formula mass force force is equal to F is equal to M into G into LS divided by area means pi R square into delta L we want this delta L that's why I'm going to convert this formula I will send this delta L this side and I'm taking by this side delta L which is equal to which delta L this is steel rod that is delta LS which is equal to delta LS which is equal to mg LS divided by pi r square into this y y will come this side and this delta l s will come to the this side why because we should find this delta l s only now substitute the values mass for steel rod and radius we know that the formula for finding the diameter r is equal to d by 2 here diameter for steel rod diameter for steel rod and diameter for brass rod both are same just substitute r which is equal to d by 2 d by 2 means what is the diameter 0 0.25 into 10 raise to minus 2 by 2 that is r is equal to 0 0.125 into 10 raise to minus 2 meter just use these this R value in both elongation of brass rod and elongation of steel rod. Now substitute the values delta LS which is equal to M is 10 and G value approximate value for G is 9.8 approximate this is also nearly is equal to 10 that's why I am di directly considering that is 10 meter per second square. Now this is 10 g value is 10 and ls is now ls length of steel rod is 1.5 divided by uh, that is pi means 3.142 and r value is 0 0.125 into 10 raise to minus 2 whole square 0 0.125 into 10 raise to minus 2 whole square now remaining is Young's modulus. What is the Young's modulus for steel rod? Just to write very clearly. Otherwise, I'm going to write once again. Delta LS. We should find delta LS. What is the formula? MSG LS divided by pi r square into y this is Young's modulus of steel and radius is for steel and ms means mass of steel and ls is length of steel now substitute the values mass is 10 kg 
and g value is 10 meter per second square length is 1.5 now pi means 3.142 and r means 0 0.125 into 10 raised to minus 2 whole square and Young's modulus is 200 into 10 raised to 9 10 raised to 9 now this is 10 into 10 100 100 into 1.5 100 into 100 0.5 means that is half that is nearly is equal to 1.5 you just to calculate yourself what is the final answer for these values and the final answer for delta ls which is equal to just to calculate yourself by using calculator you just to calculate numerator and denominator and divide it the final answer for delta ls is 1.49 into 10 raised to uh, minus 4 meter centimeter square that is uh, 10 raised to minus 4 meter this is the final answer for elongation of steel rod after applying this 10 kg of mass this length is going to increase that is 1.49 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter it is nothing but delta ls which is equal to how much 0 0.00014 Oh, sorry sorry 0 0.00149 meter this much of small elongation by adding 10 kg of mass on the steel rod similarly for elongation of brass rod is elongation for brass rod is uh, similarly formula for Young's modulus is F L by A into delta L here is length for brass rod that's why I am writing B and here is change in length is also B now we want delta LB delta LB is equal to FLB divided by A into YB why because we are going to find the Young's modulus of brass rod already we know that that is uh, 90 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square. Now, substitute the values. Force in terms of mass into acceleration due to gravity. What is the mass for? Just to convert this formula, F instead of F, I am writing M into Z and this is LB and denominator is area means pi r square into YB. Now, already we know how to convert the diameter in terms of radius and this is the final answer for both the uh, brass rod and as well as steel rod why because radius for both the wires are same that steel wires as well as brass wires the diameter is same now what is the radius for what is the mass for brass rod is 6 kg mass is 6 kg and acceleration due to gravity is 10 and length is 1 meter and denominator is pi value is 3.142 and r value is that is 0 0.125 into 10 raised to minus 2 whole square and Young's modulus for brass is 90 into 10 to the power of 9 now just calculate by using calculators the Young's modulus of brass is is around that is uh, 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter or you can say that Young's modulus for brass rod is 0 0.0013 meter this is also a very small elongation and this is more as compared to this why because steel is more elastic than brass a very small force is acting on the steel rod the elongation is more and the restoring force is also more this is the final answer for uh, this numericals please note down these
better understand the numericals you should know how to write the given values and the substitution process is very important so if you know how to substitute the given values in the formula means it is very easy to solve the numericals otherwise it is very difficult to solve the numericals in physics that's why uh, numerical parts the very important is formula then substitution process and the second third one is the calculation process is very important then we'll see next question i think so you understand this we'll move next question okay next one is a steel cable with a radius of 5 with a radius of radius of 1.5 cm 1.5 cm supports supports a chair lift supports a chair lift at a sky air at a sky air sorry sky area sky area at a sky area if the maximum stress is if the maximum maximum if the maximum stress is not to exceed is not to exceed is not to exceed 10 to the power of 8 newton per meter square find or what is the maximum load what is the maximum load what is the maximum load the cable can support what is the maximum load the cable can support what is the maximum load the cable can support this is the very easiest question just to understand how to convert the given values from the question a steel cable with a radius this much that is 1.5 cm or they mention radius is equal to 1.5 cm we can write a given values r is 1.5 cm that is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter you write as it is then supports a chair lift at a sky area a freely falling body in air that is sky area if the maximum stress is not to exceed means this is the maximum stress we should give for that particular steel cable that stress is not going to exceed more than 10 to the power of 8 that is nothing but stress is equal to stress is equal to 10 to the power of 8 newton per meter square this is the maximum stress sustained by this cable then we should find the maximum load just keep in your mind load applied force both are same maximum load maximum load is nothing but force how much force is going to act on that 
स्टील केबल वी शुड फाइंड वी नो दैट द बेसिक फॉर्मूला बेसिक फॉर्मूला दैट इज स्ट्रेस विच इज इक्वल टू स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू फोर्स इन टू एरिया वी शुड फाइंड द फोर्स बाय एरिया वी शुड फाइंड द फोर्स फोर्स विच इज इक्वल टू स्ट्रेस इन टू एरिया स्ट्रेस इन टू एरिया फोर्स विच इज इक्वल टू स्ट्रेस हाउ मच दे मैंशन स्ट्रेस दैट इज टेन टू दी पॉवर ऑफ एट वट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर एरिया पाई आर स्क्वायर Now, force which is equal to this is 10 to the power of 8 into pi value is 22 by 7, or you write directly that is 3.142 into radius. How much they mentioned the radius? That is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 whole square. Now calculate. This is minus 2 square means 10 raised to minus 4, and multiply. 3.142 into 1.5 into 1.5. Why? Because this is the square one. 1.5 into 1.5 into 3.142, and the powers is remain same. What is the answer means? That is 7.07 into 10 to the power 7.07 into 10 to the power 4 newton. The force applied is this much or maximum. Load this much of force sustained. Maximum load is that is seven point zero seven into ten to the power of four newtons. That steel cable can sustain this much of force. And remaining numericals I am going to solve in the next class. Thank you.